If we continue to destroy the planet as we currently do, and if we don't find better ways for people to buy food to get out and onwards from poverty, we will live in a very different world and it will not be a nice one. The 2022 edition of FAO's State of the World's Forests report looks into a new narrative how forests and trees can help us with solutions to get out of some of the environmental and economic crisis that we currently face. Forests and trees are vital for us on the planet. They provide air, water, food, energy and renewable materials. For us, it is really important to maintain them but, de facto, they are still shrinking. The issue basically is simple. Those that are here to maintain or even grow them, they do not get enough benefits from doing so. So they continue to shrink. Now here's the thing. If we use forests and trees more wisely, we can both address environmental crisis and economic recovery needs at the same time. Forests and trees can be powerful solutions. Storing carbon and removing greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. Here, forests and trees can provide some 14% of the additional removals of these greenhouse gases that we need to stay within 1.5 degrees by 2030. That's a major contribution. Maintaining and in some areas even increasing biodiversity by restoring forests and landscapes and using trees and forests better for renewable materials that are carbon neutral and with which we can build a more sustainable world. These are three pathways around which we have to look into the future. Protecting forests, stop deforestation, is the most important single contributions that we can make. Restoring, putting trees back into landscapes is a major way of improving our terrestrial ecosystems and productivity for our economies. And the third one is using forests and trees, using environmentally friendly renewable materials that are carbon neutral to build a better future. In any given local context, one or more of these can and need to be applied in a balanced way according to the situation that is needed. The three forest pathways, they connect better environment and better production. The 2022 report of FAO State of the World's Forest Report has reviewed data and evidence to find out how much do we actually know about the benefits of those pathways and the costs. How much do we know about what needs to be done to make them a reality? How much do we know about how much upscaling potential they, they have? You will not necessarily be surprised that we have found many data gaps, many areas where we think we need more discussions, more reflections, more research. But then there are also really important points that we think we have to take note. For instance, that in total, if you add up those uh, contributions of these different pathways to climate change mitigation, we are around in the magnitude of 20%. 20% is a lot to contribute to the reduction of climate change. It is also clear that millions of jobs can be created if we restore, uh, if we restore landscapes, if we, if we put trees back into, into farms, into areas where people can make a living to improve the productivity and 
environmental resilience at the same time. Investment in forest pathways would have to increase by 4 by 2050. But this seems feasible given that the climate and the sustainability finance sectors are very dynamic nowadays. I'd like to point to two areas that I think need uh, particular attention. One is agricultural subsidies. They, they are already established mechanisms that reach farmers and the amount of funding is huge, 540 billion US dollars per year. If some of this can be reoriented from environmentally harmful to environmentally friendly productivity enhancing investments, that will give a major boost to restoration and more sustainable management of forests and agriculture, including agroforestry. This is one part. The other one is the absence of good mechanisms to reach small scale producers. Only 1.7% of all the climate finance currently reaches small producers. We do need mechanisms to bring those billions to the small producers to change their way of how they produce today. Let me come to my last point. I have made this before because it's so important. Smallholders, local communities, indigenous peoples, they are at the center and need to be at the center of that development. Altogether, they manage around 4.3 billion hectares of land. If they can own and lead their development, and if we can support that, then we are on a winning path with forest solutions. Forests and trees can be powerful solutions for a better environment, for a better economy and for a better life for us all.